the tab itself is highlighted in green, and that means we are currently in the sketch environment. All right, let's talk a little about this window. On the left side, we've got the model browser, and the origin folder is open. If you don't see the browser, go to the View tab, User Interface, and select Browser from this list. Here in the origin folder, we've got three planes and three axes. Currently, the planes and axes are hidden. That's where they're grayed out in this list. Sketch orientation is normal to the XY plane. To make the plane visible, just right-click and select Visibility. To hide it, right-click and unselect Visibility. One more item here. Let's talk about the center point. Origin point is projected onto the center point during sketch creation. And we can adjust that option. Go to Tools, Application Options, Sketch tab. Here is the option to auto-project part origin on Sketch Create. Let's cancel out for now. And let's go back to the Sketch tab. The last item in the browser is the End of Part Marker. This can be dragged above features in the browser to exclude them from your part. All right, let's create some geometry now. I'm going to activate the Rectangle tool. I'll use a two-point rectangle. Left-click to place the first corner. I snapped it to the center point, and the second click places the final corner. Notice how I created a one-inch by one-inch rectangle. The reason for that is that my pointer snapped to the grid. And that's because the snap toggle is active in the status bar. 